I said I was going to mow the grass and I'm going to mow that grass. So we've got that field, that extra field that we just bought in the last episode. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and take the cockling and we're going to put her away because she is done now until autumn, I guess. Well, not autumn. This time next year. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you to let me out. That registration said no hay. <laughs> you got no hay. Well, 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 we're going in that one, Zebra. You fool. Right, let's just make sure it does go in. Yes. Yes, all right. So we're going to stick it in there. Any time that you want mirrors to act like real mirrors, and to be able to turn. Actually, there is a there is a mod, isn't there, where you can turn your head quickly. Oh, Seabur, you went up the wall. There we go. It does stick out a little bit. But I'm okay. Oh, somebody's wheel spinning. No need for that. So we'll grab Farigo. We're going to buy this. In fact, we'll buy it now. So you go into here. Um, and you go into. No. Purchase, that's it. Purchase. So 23595. Five. Let's just see how much it is new. 23595. Oh, Zebra. Oh, we're not actually saving that much. 24550. We have got. At least, anyway, so. It's probably cost us more, to be fair, but then that would be our higher purchase. So, in terms of how we usually do this, that's probably been not very cost effective doing it that way. But. It did give us the opportunity to try before we buy. It would be nice to have have that option to have something on demonstration because you don't pay for stuff on demonstration, so you can have it for a day usually demonstrating something. I'm not going to stay in cab all the way through. But I just thought it would be nice to start off a bit differently. I'm not sure whether I'm going to plant this track or not. We'll get more grass out of it, see if we do. Here's our lovely new field then. Let's, let's go on the outside. So we're going for hay off of this because we need more hay bales. We didn't get very many. We didn't get very many at all actually. We also need grass bales for the sheep. So I'm going to have to... Remember not to tether bit. And we also want to make sure that the baler doesn't turn it into silage bales because we just want grass bales. Can we have we got that option? Do we have that option?
Like you have to do different different bales for the grass bales. Oh no, that's That's gonna be sacrilege if we do. Use a different baler. I don't want to use a different baler. <laughs> I like my rota it's a rotana, isn't it? I like my rotana. 160 V. Good bit of kit. Listen to that. Doing its thing. So I'm just trying to trying to think what are the other things that we're gonna have to have to do. And I'm not not entirely sure, but I don't think we're gonna have to fertilize anything. But we will check that. Just to be sure. Look at that view. What a stunning view. He's definitely outdone himself with this one, isn't he? Oxygen David. He has outdone himself. I don't know. I guess you could improve on it if you really, really sat there and thought. But I think he's he's hit the um, optimum point of creating a map. The only the only way that he'll better this, I think, is if he chose a really complexed area not that this isn't complex because there, there's an awful lot going on here but yeah suburbs of London or something which there are farms there believe it or not if you go and have a look at Heathrow on Google right next to Heathrow Airport in the middle of what looks like it's in the middle of the city is a load of fields crop fields <laughs> not just grass fields we're talking crop fields I noticed that when I was looking I was looking to see where the car park was that I had to, to go to when I went to the airport I saw these fields and I thought, that oh, they're just grass fields. No, they're actually crop fields. Ridiculous, eh? Don't think goes backwards slowly with this on. Anyway, I think this will... Now that we've trialled the, the fence out, we've done the drilling and everything, I think this grass cutting and uh bailing session will be the last one for the fence and we'll we'll move her on and we'll try something else when the time is right we won't need anything until after harvest actually when we when we start doing the bailing for harvest because the case is going to be able to do the the grain cart. So yeah, bailing for harvest is when we'll look at getting the next tractor in. I'm still not past getting a loader though, a, a telehandler. Anyway, I'll just finish this off and we'll come back and we'll, um, we'll turn some of it and then we'll row, row it up.
Well that was jolly fun. I gave the fence a little bit of a dip over there, I don't know if anybody noticed. Of course you did, you rampantly got on to the comment section and were commenting about it as soon as I did it. Nice driving Seba, uh, taking the fence for a dip I see. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 alright. <laughs> anyway, I am... Um, not entirely confident that this baler is going to do just grass bales, you know. But it was nice of them to drop it off for us, ready to go. Cost the same price as it did last time. I don't know what it was, but it is what it is. So, Fent, Fent. I did look at it and think, oh, I might have the Massey. And then I thought, no, because we're using a Fent tractor. Silly Seaber. Let's unfold you so that we are ready. Let's do the hay first because I'm scared of doing this grass. I'm a scared, oh yeah. I'm a scared. So clink clunk. First you need the fill Oh I chose the wrong baler. Well, that's annoying. Let me just sort this out then. There it is, look. The net wrap. It's a, it's a nice added feature, uh, but I didn't really want to get involved in that with this episode. Not to worry. Job is done. Situation is sorted. Bailing shall commence. So it shouldn't really take us that long to do. Not entirely sure why I had to put the net on, because it's not you. Oh, it is using it, I see. It uses it when it goes into the second section. There we go, so they're nice and fancy because they're the vent ones. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> but different, I suppose. That come out rather quick, didn't it? Drop you off then. They're all going to look rather delightful in our yard anyway. Going to get a lot more hay bales off of this situation. Possibly more hay bales off of this situation than we did off of the, the other two combined. Who knows? Anyway, I need to work out how to do this chuffing grass. Might not be able to use this baler, you know. I might have to convert over to a different one. That's sacrilege. Surely you must be able to say don't wrap it. Especially when the stupid game wants to wants to feed sheep grass is a poor effort let's feed the sheep grass yeah because they don't have that in the field do they <laughs> if it was hay alright silage yeah alright don't think you feed silage to sheep though do you no actual sheep food right let's try and loop round and get that oh no it's not going to do it we'll have to come back and pick that up later 
Let's go around here. I'll just get this hay done then. And then we'll come back for me trying to work out how to do grass if we can. If not, then we'll have to go different baler, won't we? Here we go then, that's the last hay bale. Well, actually, it's not the last hay bale because we've got 18%. I wonder if it's going to turn it into grass if we go. Yes, it does. Okay, right. This is not going to let me just do grass bales, is it? Let's attempt one. Let's attempt one. Seabur. Careful. Careful, careful. Right, it's going to automatically chuck it out the back. <sighs> Is there any way? Fold baler, lift, pack, pick up. Turn off baler, no. Change the bale size, reset baler. Do you know, it's, I really don't think it's going to. We're going to have to get a different baler, guys. Let's just do this one then. There's no way you can stop that. That's a shame, isn't it? So, when we want to do the grass bales, we need... I can't even get me a wrap out. That's rude. Alright, well I'm going to have to get another baler. Give me a minute or three. So I called up lastminutebalers.com and they managed to get this out to me. Big bale. <laughs> oh, I do make myself chuckle. So we're going to rattle through this grass in a time lapse because I'll have to stop start to empty it but that is how it is Well, that was pretty quick. That was one of those quick time lapses that don't last 30 seconds. Don't really know what to do with the music. What music should I choose? I don't know. It's confusing. I know. <laughs> right, uh, we'll get these little tufty bits, and they're not going to make up a bale. How 
how annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. Let's go scrounging then. Around the edges there, there's some. We go scrounging around here, we might, there's a little bit there. Is that not grass? No, it's not. It's just... It's not grass, everybody. <laughs> I thought it was. No. It's just not enough beep beeper. Now I'm going to have to put up with it beeping. Hopefully I was really sloppy when I was rowing up and there's a big chunk of it down here somewhere and... Oh, there's not. Oh, a dang. Actually, there's a... There's some hay down here. I wonder if it'll let... There's not enough though, is it, Seabur? No. He's just clutching at straws now, aren't you? Yeah. I look like a little bit there. Well, up. Can wash it again. <laughs> This is nuts. All that they get nothing. Oh well. Sod's law that is. Let's take this up to the yard. Well, there is a mod, isn't there? To get this out. I don't think I can empty it. Which you should be able to, because you can do. You could just wrap it off and then empty it. How very annoying. Let's put these here then. I know, it's probably in the way, but it'll be alright for a minute. We'll take the... We'll take the maxim down, we'll grab that that pallet of wrap which we're gonna have to keep now until next time so we'll have to choose a we'll choose it with wrap next time and then we can be a little bit more realistic. This track that doesn't seem to get particularly dirty. Which is a shame. Right. Let's put you on. There we go. Looks lovely. Well done, Seba. And um, we're, we're not going to get the bales in this episode. We'll get them in in the next episode. And I will use the trailer for that. Because it's far enough away to warrant doing so. So what we will do is... Um, I want to get that bale out of the baler. But I will send back the fence. Uh, where 
am I going to put this? Mm. Back to the old nowhere to store anything situation. Oh well, don't be stupid. There it is. Put you there. Well, I'm going to have a look for that mod that I think I've seen. See if we can do it that way. Make it. I just want to make it more authentic, more realistic. You know. So if I can find it. And we'll do it in the next episode. If not, then I'll just have to think of another ingenious way of doing such things. Right. Wait off. And then say goodbye to you. I really enjoyed using you. <laughs> Maybe we'll see each other again someday. <laughs> Let's get that. Let's have that as our thumbnail. Because it's got Big Max in the background too. Oh, I quite like that one too. Lovely job. You'll soon, uh, you'll soon see which one is which, much before I decide on which one is which. Huh. Uh, they're not producing wool particularly quickly, are they? That should be full now, sheepies. Sheepies, sheepies. Right. All right, before we sign off, let's have ourselves a very quick peruse of the cow situation. So, no new youngsters yet. You will be the first ones. Price is coming up on these guys. So as soon as they give birth, they're going. Um, I was keeping them for an experiment, but the experiment was determined in Attingham. <coughs> they don't lose their price. These guys are doing all right, aren't they? They've got food. They're nearly out, so I'm going to have to do a food load before I go into the next day. And then the sheep, wow, they don't take very much, do they? Never mind. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and may the weather be with you.